Sainz 100% ready to fight for 2022 championship with Ferrari. Carlos Sainz is eager to get racing in the upcoming season following a brilliant 2021 season in which he finished fifth in the driver's standings the highest standings finish of his career. With Ferrari hoping to get back to their best, the Spaniard underlined that he's now ready to battle for a title this year. Sainz had quite an incredible end to the last race of the season in Abu Dhabi, taking a third place finish, his fourth podium of the year, with the highlight being a second place finish in Monaco. He claims that his time with Ferrari has given him confidence, and that if the Scuderia could launch a championship push, he'll be right there at the front fighting for the title. When asked about a title fight this year, Sainz said, yes, 100%. This second half of the season has given me the right confidence with the car, the right confidence with the team, to know I'm ready for whatever comes next year. That combined with the amount of hard work we're putting into the 2022 project has put me into the right mindset. It definitely would seem Ferrari have had somewhat of an advantage over Mercedes and Red Bull, who were embroiled in the fiercest title battle seen for decades. It's safe to presume that Mercedes and Red Bull simply haven't had the time to develop their 2022 cars to the extent the Ferrari had, as they were still developing their 2021 cars right up until the end of last season in the title battle between Hamilton and Verstappen. Ferrari engineer Laurent Mekias revealed in June last year that the team's 2021 car development was all but over, with attention now entirely on the new era of F1 when it dawns in 2022. Ferrari also had the advantage of having been allocated more wind tunnel hours than both Red Bull and Mercedes as they finished below both in the Constructors' Championship. Speaking from Maranello, team principal Mattia Bianotto said that new processes, including being open to adopting different ideas, has led to Ferrari pushing the boundaries with its new car. If I looked at the 2022 car and the 2022 power units, believe me that there is a lot of innovation in it, he explained. I think that the way the entire engineering team has faced the new design, the new project, and the 2022 regulations, which were a big discontinuity, were certainly with a more open mind than before. Both Ferrari drivers have the quality to win a race in a strong car, but which driver would have the consistency and determination to win a title over a 23 race calendar? Looking back at last season, the more sure bet will be Sainz. The Spaniard stated that his first year with Ferrari 2021 was a season he enjoyed, which placed him in a good headspace for the upcoming winter break and the hard work ahead. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's one of my favorite seasons in F1 in terms of just enjoying Formula 1 and enjoying being part of the sport, he added. It's been quite hectic, a lot of races, but also a lot of good times. I managed to enjoy myself. At the same time, I've managed to improve myself through the year. On the other side of the Ferrari garage, Charles Leclerc had a more disappointing end to the season than Sainz, having missed out on P5 in the standings. Leclerc has been ahead for most of the season, but wherever Leclerc failed, Sainz excelled. Both drivers have admitted that they pushed each other to achieve more, but it seemed more beneficial to Sainz rather than Leclerc. But Leclerc noted he had worked on a significant weakness last year, which should help him improve even more in 2022. Asking where he'd improve most in 2021, Leclerc replied, definitely the race management in general. Again, that's since early 2020, I started to say it was one of my weaknesses, especially in 2019. I had a lot of good qualifying sessions, but in the race, I was struggling a bit more. We were struggling a bit more as a team, but as a driver, I could feel I was struggling more than others. So I put a lot of work into it in 2020. I got much better, and I think 2021, it was actually one of my strengths. If Ferrari decides to move away from Leclerc or Sainz when their contracts expire in 2022 and 2023, they might already have a replacement in mind, as Ferrari is constantly mentoring and watching Mick Schumacher in order to help him duplicate his father's achievements. The Italian constructor is said to be interested in Schumacher driving one of their legendary red cars in the future. Schumacher made his Formula 1 debut with Haas, but had a rough rookie season in an uncompetitive car. However, the 22-year-old has previously demonstrated his driving abilities, winning the Formula 2 title in 2022. After a thrilling climax in Sakir, Schumacher did manage to consistently beat team Meg Mazepin, albeit both cars were to the rear of the field all season long.
Ferrari announced that Schumacher will officially split the reserve driver job with Antonio Giovinazzi, a former Alfa Romeo racer. In 2022, the Italian, who lost his place to Chinese driver Guan Yu Zhu, will serve as a backup driver for 12 race weekends, while Schumacher will be on standby while Giovinazzi is competing in Formula E. Ferrari team principal Mattia Bianotto indicated that Ferrari engineers and resources are available to assist Schumacher's development as he strives to follow in his seven-time world champion father's footsteps. In 2021, he was followed by Ferrari engineers dedicated to the Ferrari Driver Academy program to support him in his development. And that will continue next year, Bianotto said. A simulator will be available to him at Baranello. Mick is still part of the Ferrari Driver Academy, which means we're still coaching him as a driver even today. But we have an entire program with him because in still being part of an academy, it's part of our objective to continuously try and develop them as drivers. Again, the final objective one day is that they will prove to be capable of being a Ferrari driver. Schumacher will continue to race for Haas alongside Bazapin in an unchanged lineup. Despite a difficult season in which Haas failed to capture a single point, Bianotto believes Schumacher's dedication will pay off in the long run. The reason we've got a Ferrari Driver Academy is to identify who can be the Ferrari driver for the future, Bianotto added. Being part of it, if you are doing well, no doubt you may have opportunities. He's already had one season in F1, which is important. For their 2022 Formula 1 car, Ferrari believes it has significantly improved its internal combustion engine and made considerable alterations under the bodywork. F1's most famous team has not won a race since 2019 after rebounding from a huge performance setback, particularly on the power unit side, though with its chassis over the previous two seasons. In late 2019, concerns over Ferrari's engine performance led to FIA technical instructions that restricted specific practices, leaving Ferrari with a considerable power deficit. Ferrari partially addressed this with its 2021 power unit, then launched a new hybrid system throughout the season that resulted in a significant significant performance boost and served as the foundation for the energy recovery system in the 2022 design. Simultaneously, Ferrari has been working on a new V6, partly to optimize the design for the new 10% ethanol fuels that F1 will begin using in 2022, but principally as part of an ambitious program to overcome the company's residual engine performance deficit. So, with Ferrari having addressed all issues with engine performance, as well as significant development and gains with their new car design, the other teams are concerned that Ferrari already has an advantage. If this is true, Ferrari could maybe win their first championship since 2007. So, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing. Bye-bye.